what happened a few months ago. Uh, Baxter, uh, vaccine vaccine company in Austria, I believe. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Sent out samples uh, of live bird virus to many sites, uh, for laboratories in, in Europe, and there was one in Czechoslovakia that did a test on some ferrets, and they died. And there's live virus in there, and that's pretty. That's a that's a violation of biocode. Um, you're sending out bioweapons, basically. And um, in the article you wrote, if I understand this right, when people asked about that, they act like they had never heard of that. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. It, well, they they feigned <laughs> they feigned ignorance. There's there's an important point I want to bring up too. Um, Dr. Roger uh, Bernier, he was also present at the meeting. He opened the meeting by stating that we can't pick the right answer based on science and data. Hmm. I mean, it, under you know, if you, if if you just sit back and and uh, and soak that in, if you will, for a little bit, he said we can't pick the right answer based on science and data. Now, this is actually talking about the the the, the different types of virus that we're using for these vaccines. If, if we can't pick the right answer based on science and data, how, how, how are we going forward with this? How are we spending $1.8 billion on these adjuvants to, to move forward with this whole campaign? Which, I mean, if, if, if anybody does any of these, uh, it, it takes a look at any of these types of studies, looks at the research, look, looks at their statements, you'll see as you start adding this picture together, start putting the puzzle pieces together, it doesn't add up and the picture isn't pretty. Wow. Um, yeah, it doesn't sound good. Uh, I got and, a quick, oh, end oh, of note. End of note, Chris. They did. They did close the meeting, and I, I'm not sure of the exact quote. Um, I didn't. I didn't write it down because at that point, um, <laughs> the meeting was 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 starting to to break up. But the but the uh, gentleman from the Keystone Center, he did end the meeting with a quote from Machiavelli. And prior to that, the uh, the uh, captain from the CDC, he decided to uh, kind of storm out in disgust. He was shaking his head. So yeah, I think I think we had a positive effect on on uh, their their way of thinking. So hopefully, no, we're not we're not uh, buying into the the lies. Speaking okay, so there's a lot of fear out there, and I have a question from the chat room here. A girls, uh, I, I wonder, I guess where I'm going to take this is, um, did anybody bring up the fact uh, because what there's a website out there, flutracker.com, and uh, a girl says that's a fear site. Uh, they say the flu is mutating quickly, um, so. Did anybody bring up the thing that if it's mutating so fast, how what's a vaccine going to do it for us anyways? Was did you hear yeah, that? Yeah, oh, the sure, sure. You know, we brought that point up. We brought it up numerous amount of times, and uh, they they simply ignored it. Said, well, you know, we have to have something. We have to have uh, we have to make sure that we have something available. It didn't matter if it, again, it didn't matter if it was based on the right answer. It didn't matter if it was based on science. You know, if it's mutating so quickly, how do we know that this vaccine is going to help? Period. Well, we don't. We don't, and that's why we were bringing up natural health methods such as colloidal silver, antiviral herbs, antiviral oils, um, you know, vitamin supplements, <laughs> uh, self-quarantine. We bring up all of these points, but they said, you know, you know, we we're not here to discuss that. We're not here to discuss that answer. We want to know: do we want to go fast or do we want to go slow with this vaccine program? So again, it's abundantly clear they don't really care what we think. So this is input. This is just a. Uh not really looking at the answer it's just kind of they have their their decisions or coming on there quite a different so i continue to uh, recommend people to visit your website for more information there's new articles that you write yourself and also you post uh, interesting articles from that you find out there in the world dealing with this subject out there is there um oh yeah here's something i worried about coconut milk is that supposed to be an antiviral have you heard anything about that or um, you know, as far as uh, coconut milk being an antiviral, you know, I, I couldn't speak to that specifically. Fair I enough. do know that uh, there are oils out there, such as oil of oregano, clove oil, uh, things of like that, that do have antiviral properties. And again, sure. and you're just looking to heal yourself, and you're, you're not you're not uh, they're saying that you don't. Yeah, you know, I can't, I, I'm not a doctor, and I can't make any health recommendations for anybody. That's just what I would do. Um, you know, uh, colloidal silver has been known to be a, a powerful antibiotic. Um, you know, you know, you, you know I, I brought up the fact that, hey, it's not it's not the uh, the mosquito that attracts the swamp. It's not the cockroaches that attract the dirty kitchen. It's not the buzzard that attracts the dead rabbit. So if you maintain good health or optimal health, you should be able to. Um, it doesn't mean that you won't get sick, but it means that your body will have a very good chance of overcoming whatever it's challenged with. 
Wow. Well, um, I'm going to continue. I'm hoping if other, I'm going to put this up online. This is this part we've talked here. I'm going to get this spread around. So if anybody wants to um, have some more questions or want to share their information with uh, backtruth.com with these other meetings, uh, there'll be a contact form on there that we were talking about, Jeff. And uh, yep. so yep. they can send some information, maybe send some different documents or anything up there. And uh, we'll continue to follow up on this. So I'll be um, doing some updates throughout the week. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to close? Uh, I know uh, today, Jeff. Yeah, um, you know, actually, Dr. Terry, uh, or sorry, Dr. Sherry Tenpenny is going to be on tonight. On uh, There's going to be a lot of other things that are coming down the pike. I where, where's she going to be on? Uh, coast to Coast AM with George Nori. Okay, so and she and can you tell her, she has that, uh, we mentioned that site there um, a while back, uh, Pan, flu pandemic online.com i believe that is or uh, i think it's the pandemic flu online and uh what you gonna be and um tell us a little bio about her or do you have that information or all right say again who uh why why should we listen to her um well she she's probably one of the foremost uh quote-unquote authorities on the alternative vaccine movement uh or the anti-vaccine movement or i guess the the pro-education movement, and she's just uh, just a wealth of information. Of course, she backs up all of her information on on uh, scientific data and information from entities such as the uh, Center for Disease Control, FDA, NIH, etc. So, um, I would highly recommend her as a resource concerning this. Um, she, like I said, she's going to be on tonight. You can go to her website. I think drtenpenny.com is another one as well. Uh, but uh, she has just a wealth of information. She understands the game well. She's been researching this for about 15 years. And uh, if you want to start to wake up or understand some of the facts concerning vaccines, I highly recommend her. Well, quite, quite the story. So uh, I'll, I'll check out that myself some more. I'll keep educating people out there. Um, my next show, I do two shows a week. Uh, my next show is Saturday, uh, which is 1 p.m. Eastern on boldvoices.tv, and then I'll have a Wednesday show as too. So uh, I might have another interview with you, uh, Jeffrey, if there's something else that comes up during that time. We might do it live or I might just have a, a pre-recorded information. But thank you for keeping everybody up to date, and I wish you a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. All right. Thank you very much for having me on, Chris, and God bless you. God bless you. Bye. Bye-bye.